Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Uh, today's one is going to be on the GSR ES VPU. Um, I'm going to call it the GSR VPU just because I have it on a GSR and not the ES or the E or an FRR. Um, so uh, I'm not going to cover the history or the development uh, because that's not my area. I stopped looking at the GSR years ago. Um, I do have to mention that I got this from another gas mask collector, uh, Arch Moko, who is a fantastic collector. Um, he has done probably the most amount of research on the Scott GSR um, than any other collector in the UK or ever, for that matter. Um, so, massive thanks to him. Um, I wouldn't have been able to get this without him. Uh, he's tracked down the majority of the GSRs, um, as well as the GSR ES... It's also get um prototype test ones, I think, if I can remember correctly. But anyway, I diverge. So what we're going to look at is the VPU itself. I'm gonna test. Um show you how it works. It is kind of bulky, as is the GSR itself. But it's a rather uh interesting design with uh a design element that's been somehow removed. Through a lot of uh, Scott's promotional images and stuff uh, of the GSR ES and such and such, they've changed it a lot. Uh, from the power button being on the front and this screw being elsewhere, to there being a 3.5mm aux jack here. <laughs> Why that's there, no one knows. But anyway, the GSR uh, obviously developed as a competitor to the Avon M50. Uh, I'm not entirely sure if they'd have known about each other's uh, communication and voice projection systems uh, as they were going through development. But I'd assume that they'd have both been given the same design brief and they'll have assumed, right, okay, we need to come up with some form of communication system. Scott done their communications and VPU system separately. Avon combined into the one. Uh, I'll, show you, I'll show you a comparison between the M50 and the GSR VPUs. So... Yeah, interesting system. It takes three AAA batteries, so the thin ones, uh, in this compartment here. That's why it's so bulky. You do kind of notice it in your peripheral, but it is where kind of the ghost in your vision happens. Well, uh, it doesn't make a difference. Uh, here, what you have is the selector lever, kind of like the FM53's VREU, Variable Resistance Exhalation Unit. This is for the GSR's uh, MPRS, I think. Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, I literally had a look at the sales literature there. But anyway, it's the GSR's equivalent of the VREU, well, there's a positive pressure exhalation system. Uh, up is APR, down is SCBA and PAPR. So yeah, it does have an accommodation for that. Um, now with this, you can't have uh, comms. It is solely VPU only, which I'm assuming that was what that 3.5 mil ox was, and then Scott realised, oh shit, the army don't use 3.5. What are we going to do? Just remove it. Just remove it. We'll cheapen it down. We'll make it cheaper. Um, so yeah, that's probably what's happened. Uh, in fact, hold on, because I have the manual in one of the bags here, if I remember correctly. From what? Okay, I don't, I lied. I don't. Oh no. Anyway. Uh, it's just to show you that 3.5 mil ox. Anyway, moving on. To turn the VPU on. And it makes like a little Motorola beep. Which I find quite cool. Uh, goes green. And because Scott make SCBA systems... They've designed it in such a way where that light is visible at all times in your periphery. Uh, much like an SCBA HUD system, where it's like red, amber, green, in terms of your oxygen supply in your tank. Or your air supply, sorry, because you don't breathe oxygen. Uh, problem is, it is constantly, I'll stick this on, but I'll actually show you a face-to-face -face test. So... Yeah, the audio quality is actually decent for a VPU. Uh, I don't have any problems with it. 
bar the fact that you constantly hear your breathing just because it picked, it's not using a, a microphone system, it's just using a, a straight microphone on the VPU, whereas the Avon system has the amplifier and then the dynamic, dynamic microphone, this wasn't, I don't think this is dynamic, there's no information available on what kind of microphone that this uses, so I'm going to assume that it's not dynamic, um, but I don't know, it's not kind of my area. So, this is your audio quality, and I'll get another one face to face, and you can just see how it is, and the size, and just the VPU in general. And then to turn it off, it's a simple... Hold also makes a beep when you are running low on battery, which is a nice addition. Avon ones won't, so I guess it does have pros and it does have cons. One of the cons being the fucking size of the thing. Uh, so I'm going to show this just because uh, I'm the only person with one as a collector. Uh, this is the black Avon G, no, not Avon, the black Scott GSR Haversack. Um, I managed to get this just with a plain GSR. Uh, it's the exact same as your standard field, field pack. The material is slightly different, which is kind of weird because the Avon M50 carrier is much like the GSR carrier and it's its own materials. And then the C50, which is the black M50 bag, and the black GSR bag are this... They, feel, they don't feel cheaper, but they feel entirely different. There is an, a very, very noticeable difference between the black GSR bag, the MTP GSR bag, the fo foliage green, grey, um, M50 bag and the black M50 C50 bag so I don't know what the hell goes on with companies that make these because the nylon is entirely different this is usually similar but it's this nylon and it makes it feel slightly cheaper than it should anyway comparing it to the M50 with the VPU here's your kind of standard Avon M50 with the VPU um, yeah, they do kind of, there's a little bit of a ugliness to them. The M50 is definitely longer, the M50's got a snoot, um, much like the FM12 VPU, so Avon seem to have this thing for quite long VPUs, whereas, uh, try to think, yeah, so the, the Avon G, the Avon VPU kind of takes horizontal, and the GSR takes vertical because the GSR is already uh, kind of profile wise big. So they've decided to add up on top, whereas Avon are like, okay, we can afford to have it hanging off that much. Um, so yeah, you can easily clip it on, clip it off. There's your electronic communications port, which is cool. The GSR is literally, this is clipped in as part of the louvre system so it comes off and that's your entire unit and then there's your switch for your variable resistance unit quite heavy with the battery installed um, not noticeable once you're wearing it so obviously Avon have the ECP in the internal microphone system which allows for ELOC comms or VPU in the one whereas the GSR you need to have the comms louvre cover and the standard louvre cover, whatever the hell I put it. Um, up there. So, standard louvre cover, comms louvre cover, and then GSR, uh, the VPU louvre cover. Then you've also got the GSR ES louvre cover, but it's uh, rather than this coming off to the one side, like this, it's got both sides so that you can, because it's not made for the clansman. This one's made with a Klansman respirator um, Savox microphone or the Rakal microphone. These are also called the uh, Rakal Louvre covers because Rakal make the microphones, I think. Uh, this comes off to the one side because all the Klansman vehicle headsets or the Bowman headsets as well um, come off to the right side. So it would go on and it would come up into the headset here. Whereas if you're wearing Peltors, you've got two sides. So you kind of need that interchangeability between if you're having it off the left or off the right or where your down lead is. So unfortunately I don't have one of them, but you know, such is life. Don't get everything you want. So your microphone there is pressed up against the voice emitter plate 
and then that obviously goes with the isolation chamber is. I personally really do not like the Louvre system shit just because it's very cheap. I th personally anyway, I think, because I don't like pressing, don't like press fit items. I never trust them and I can't get this on which is fantastic. Um, so yeah, it speaks volumes about just the quality. Like you're gonna have that gap. That gap shouldn't be there, but I can't get it to click in properly. So I'll fuck around with that later on. But uh Yeah. GSR VPU, very, very interesting piece, very, very, very rare. Um the military don't issue them as far as I'm aware. I've never seen them issued. Obviously you see plenty of this getting issued sometimes and this is the most standard you see it. So uh, I don't have too much further to say, so I'm gonna end it there. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this, um, I'll probably edit in uh, the face-to-face -face part, but without any further ado, I'm going to end it there. Hopefully you enjoyed, because this is, again, a very rare piece, and thank you again to Arch Moko. I wouldn't have this if he had managed to source them. So, I'll see you in the next one, guys.